Hi friends, let's make a fingerprint icon. On Twitter, Raji asked me to make a fingerprint, so I'm gonna make a fingerprint. Here we go, this is the fingerprint I'm gonna make. Let's begin with our icon grid. I'm gonna draw out a rectangle. I'm gonna set this rectangle to four by six. I'm gonna censor it exactly in that space. I'm gonna press Shift X and set the stroke to black. I'm gonna copy that paste it and I'm going to extend it out by one whole pixel, one whole pixel. Let's copy paste that again. One more whole pixel, one more whole pixel. Let's paste that again. One pixel out, one pixel out. So we're just going to keep this up until we are just about at our bounds. That's looking pretty good. Next, I'm going to select all of those strokes so hit command key select all of those strokes we're going to set them to the sensor and we're going to set their border radii to 12. now with them all still selected i'm going to press command e that should flatten them into the same path so when i double click this is what i see at this point i'm going to zoom in i'm going to press the v key and hover over these segments it's going to allow me to create a point that is the midpoint for all of those segments. So all I need to do is just click once and I have all of those midpoints. I am going to select just this bottom half here and I'm gonna press Command X and then paste. These points are still selected and now we can move them over to the next point. This center point here, I'm gonna press the P key, click up, so we have that brought up a little higher. I'm gonna press the V key, double click out. I'm gonna pull up my design panel and pull up the advanced stroke palette. Set the join to be round and the endpoints to be round. This is what it should look like for you at this point. We can begin to cut away and make our thumbprint look a little bit more like a thumbprint. I'm gonna double click. I'm gonna select this bottom half. I'm gonna press shift down to move it down by a whole pixel. My big nudge is set to one pixel and I'm gonna move this up by one pixel. We have elongated this a little bit more. I'm going to press the P key here to add in a, another segment. I'm gonna delete that segment. I'm going to select these two points here. I'm going to press Command J to join them, and then I'm going to round off those corners. I can now double click back in here. I can add in another segment, and I can delete that point right there. Use the same principle that we made with our maze icon to begin to join and make this seem a little more like a fingerprint. I'm going to hop over here. So not this point, but this point here, I'm going to select that center segment, and I'm going to to delete it. Let's continue to move our way out. So not this segment here, but the next one, press delete. And then let's do one more out and then delete there. This should be about the extent of our fingerprint. If you want to go out further, feel free to. We're going to begin to make some additional cuts. Come down here and find a midpoint pretty close to the bottom of my grid. I'm going to select this here, the segment, and press delete. I can also come around and choose these areas here, these segments around here, and begin to delete those as well. If you want any extra bits of segment, you know, feel free to go in and add those in. I'm gonna add in like another little point right here, and let's delete that outset. So let's delete that point right there. Now I'm gonna go through and find the remaining pieces that I want to remove. So here too, let's remove this outside portion. We actually don't need it. You can probably do with one fewer ring as you're creating this. Let's delete that top point there. Here, this line, we actually want this to come down and let's say join this, this bottom portion. Let's remove this segment and we can create another segment. So I'm gonna press the, the P key. I'm going to double click out, select the whole shape, press Command E, double click in, and let's find some good points for our segments. I'm going to click right there. 
and I'm going to add in another point right there and I can remove that. I don't want that segment up there. That's okay. Let's see how we're doing. So we have these gaps. We have these gaps here. We have this gap there. We have this gap here. Let's say I want to extend this gap just by a little bit. Let's do that. I'm happier with the way that looks. Okay, so now it is starting to look a little more like a thumbprint. At this point, I can select this whole thing. My small nudge is set to 0.5. And so I can begin to adjust how this is, is placed here. I can move this a little to the left or center it. And I can rotate this just a smidge there. And let's see. Okay, we have our top one rotated just a little bit more. That is where I am. That looks pretty good, pretty close to my original. So if you found that helpful, let me know in the comments and as always, happy designing.